C3 technology is Ludwig, so he's gonna show the demo that maybe some of you saw earlier today and explain how they created it. So thank you very much for joining us so on such short notice. Uh, yeah, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, I would like to thank O'Reilly for letting us uh, be able to speak here. So I'm Ludwig M. Gordon, and I am the product manager of C3 Technologies in Sweden. And uh, I think I would better jump onto the live demo directly because that's what really shows our 3D product. So tell me if you get dizzy because people, people tend to be that sometimes when I, when I fly around. So this is uh, a 3D model of Oslo Center. And right now it looks like an order photo. When I turn like this, you can see that this is a, a realistic 3D city model. Not bad, right? So uh, it differs quite much from the traditional model that we can see today on, on Microsoft Virtual Earth and Google Earth. Uh, we got a quite different approach. And I will do some more demo later. But first, I'm going to tell you uh, how we do this stuff. And switch over to. Is it switched over? No. Okay. So uh, we are a spin-off company from Saab Defense Group uh, in Sweden, and uh, Saab Defense Group has nothing to do with Saab Automotive. So we have made that clear. It's not, you know, about the automotive industry uh, nowadays, how it goes. So uh, actually, our technology comes from the the target seeker uh, in the missile uh, that's put on a the Saab Gripen, the jet fighter that's produced in Sweden. And this technology uh, we have uh, commercialized and, uh, and used for, uh, for commercial purposes to, uh, to create 3D city models uh, with the imaging processing technology. So what do we do? Yeah, uh, we take loads of images in five directions. So we, we fly with an airplane and swipe over an area. Uh, and we got uh, a tremendous amount of imagery. Uh, a perfect GPS location and IMU data from these uh, flights. Uh, back home, we put all these uh, imagery into an uh, automatic process. And out of this comes an elevation model, a uh, TIN model, which we then dress with the most appropriate imagery on, uh, available. And out from this, this process, we also have, uh, as byproducts, orthophotos and oblique photos. So I would just like to, to see this image. This is what's available on Microsoft and Google. And uh, uh, the image below is the C3 model. And uh, you can judge yourself uh, what you think is most, most realistic, the traditional one or, or our uh, photorealistic one. So uh, some short key facts uh, about C3. We have a 100% automatic process. Uh, we use images only. And we have no LiDAR technology to generate our 3D content. We have a very rapid production, so we can deliver a 3D model within weeks and uh, not in, within months' time, as you traditionally do. Traditionally, you, you, you create uh, 3D models by, uh, by sending imagery to low-cost countries, and you do uh, uh, creating uh, the models by hand uh, manually. Uh, and we have a quite new technology and a new approach. So uh, what we also can, can deliver is a whole city coverage. So when we fly, we can fly uh, large parts of a city. Also including suburbs, so everyone can see their house, which is uh, quite interesting. People tend to first go to the, uh, the most interesting places in the city center, and then they want to see their own house. Uh, so we want to give them that. Uh, and of course, as you can see, this is quite a realistic look of the imagery and not the Lego uh, type we see traditionally. So that's it. Uh, let's jump to the demo again. I see I have limited of time to fly around, but... So what's unique with our model is that we can, uh, we can actually capture the tree volumes. So you can see the tree volumes, and that's not available in, in traditional models. Here is the uh, royal castle of Oslo, Norway. It's quite beautiful, I think. You can also see that they have fixed the roof up here. 
I think it's funny, I mean, the tourist doesn't see the roof when they go there. So, uh, what's also unique is that we have a very detailed height information, local height information of 12 centimeters. We fly on 600 meters height and have 22 megapixel SLR cameras, cameras so uh, there's quite good resolution uh, even if you go down to the ground. This is an opera house in Oslo, it's also a quite beautiful structure. And uh, you can see people walk around, walking around here also, on top of the opera house. And what's also unique, uh, is, unique is that we have... Uh, ferries in 3D. So even small objects like on containers standing here we have in 3D. So I better head off to US because that's where we're located now. So. Can you show us what it looks like at street level? Yeah, I can show you a street level later on. Okay. So let's go to Nevada. I'm quite good at finding this place, right? <laughs> I've done it before, let's say. Here is the strip. Caesar's Palace, and there's a replica of the Eiffel Tower. And what you can actually do, since we have this accuracy and the year referencing, you get a can actually measure in our models. And you can see that, uh, oops, that the model is, uh, sorry, I flipped there, this is my laptop. So you can see that it's 150 meters, which is just half of the original Eiffel Tower. And uh, if you want to see what's behind, there's the triangular mesh, which is completely automatically generated. And also, uh, what we provide is a very smooth level of detailing. Uh, so this is the tiles we use, and uh, when I zoom out, you see now that it's, the tiles are popping, but uh, when I put that off, it's com completely seamless. So that's why you can uh, zoom in and zoom out to see large areas. And uh, I think it's a more compelling solution that was, that's available today. Uh, I've got some seconds left, so I will show you also how nature is represented in our models. This, uh, that's the Hoover Dam. And this is quite a stunning experience when you go to see uh, this continent that, that actually have vertical uh, imagery, which is also unique for, for us. So that's a quite detailed uh, image of the Hoover Dam area. I can dive down here. So, thank you very much for this, uh, and please, uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> please have a look at uh, c3technologies.com and uh, check out our online web solutions that's online today on, on Swedish and Norwegian yellow pages. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ludwig.